WJC past paper question on coordinate geometry. The diagrams are not always given in the WJEC exam. In fact, they seldom are, but this question had a diagram already provided. In the diagram, the points A, B and C had the coordinates 10, 5, 4, 7 and 8, 4. We're asked to find the gradient of BC. We're asked to show that the line through A which is parallel to BC has the equation which is given and we're asked to show the line through C perpendicular to BC meets the line given at a point called D so we're asked to find the equation of CD the coordinates of the point D and the area of the trapezium which is results so the coordinates are always useful to write down on your exam paper the gradient is the difference in the y coordinates divided by the difference in the x coordinates. Looking at B and C, we've got 7 take away 4 divided by 4 take away 8, giving us a gradient of minus 3 quarters. The line through the point A, parallel to the point to BC, will have a gradient which is equal to the gradient of BC. So it'll have a gradient which is equal to minus 3 quarters. We're going to use the standard equation of a line, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1, to find the equation of the line that we're after. So the gradient is minus 3 quarters from the information given, and the point A is minus 10, 5. So y take away y1, y take away 5, is equal to m, that's minus 3 quarters, x take away minus 10. Tidying this up, expanding the brackets, multiplying through by 4, we get the equation of the line which we were required, QED. So moving on, we see that the line through the point C is perpendicular to BC. So we've got to use our knowledge of perpendicular lines. This is going to have a gradient of 4 thirds and the reason for that is the product of gradients of perpendicular lines is always equal to minus 1. Take the minus 3 quarters, take the reciprocal of it and change the sign, giving us 4 thirds. Again we're going to use the standard equation of the line, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. We're going to be using this quite a lot. We know the point C, 8, 4, is on the line, so substituting all this information, the required equation is y minus 4 is equal to 4 thirds x minus 8. Again, multiply through by 3 to get rid of the fraction, expand the brackets, collect your terms on one side, and we have the equation of the line CD. To find the coordinates of D, we need to find the point of intersection of the two lines. They are the two lines that we found earlier in the question, and D is the point at which they cross each other. Simultaneous equations is what we're going to use. I've decided to use the process of elimination, so if we write down our two equations underneath each other, Using standard methods, we're going to multiply the first equation by 4, the second equation by 3, and then we're going to add so that we can eliminate the x coefficients and variables. 25y there plus 100 is equal to 0, and so y is equal to minus 4. We're now going to substitute this y value into one of the coordinate, one of the equations, and that's going to allow us to find the x coordinate. So x is equal to 2. This is the point that we were told to show and so d is the point at 2 minus 4. Just a point here, it's really important that you never use the coordinates that are given in order to establish their existence. If you use the point 2 minus 4 and show that it lies on the line, you will get zero marks as we've been asked to actually prove that the point of intersection is 2 minus 4. So moving on to the last part of the question, we're asked to find the area of the trapezium which is obtained 
and the diagram is shown in the question to make it a little bit easier. We see that we have got CD, which is a perpendicular line to the line BC and AD. And so the trapezium needs to use a GCSE formula, which is the sum of the parallel lines divided by 2 multiplied by the perpendicular distance between them. So we are going to need to find A and B, and they are going to be the parallel lines length AD and length BC. The perpendicular distance, that's H, is the distance from C to D. And so we're going to need to know our length of a line formula, which is by Pythagoras' theorem, the square root, the difference in the x's squared, plus the difference in the y squared. So three lengths to calculate length AD, length BC, and length CD. So applying the length of the line formula in each of the cases, length AD turns out to be 15, length BC turns out to be 5, and length CD turns out to be 10. Substituting these three numbers into the area of a trapezium formula gives us a total answer of 100 square units.